Hey all, Kyle here, AA0Z. I'm going to show you how you can monitor the bandwidth from your ISP to make sure that you are getting the speeds that you're paying for. Stick around. All right, so let's get this bandwidth monitor flow installed. So first you need to download the JSON file, which is in a link in the description below. And once you've got that downloaded, um, you need to load it into your Node-RED system. So I have got my test system right here. Uh, I've created a new tab, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to rename this Flow 9 to Bandwidth Monitor. Click, a, uh, click Done there. So now we're going to import the flow from my hard drive, which I downloaded. So we're going to come over to Input. Or import. Uh, we're going to select the file to import. We're going to come and select the Bandwidth Monitor and click OK, and we're going to click Import. So you're... Uh, Node Red instance might not say import copy. I've been uh, practice or um, messing around with this. So, whenever you import the flow, it's going to say that you need to install the speed test node. So, we're going to come up here to the hamburger menu. We're going to come down to manage palette and we're going to come over here to install and then we're going to search for speed test. Test. And it is going to be a uh, node red contrib speed test 11 months ago. And we're going to install this. Click install. And that's going to take a little bit to install. We're going to let that run and then we're going to come back after it's installed and uh, show you how we uh, configure it. After the speed test node is installed, we can close this window. And it should populate the speed test node here in your flow. So let's take a look at this flow and see what, uh, what it's doing here. So, so this flow starts every two hours and uh, the inject node injects an accept license equals true to start this node out or th this flow out. The speed test node, you have to configure the speed test node. So you got to click these accept terms buttons and the accept uh, GDPR, whatever that is, uh, in order for your speed test to run. Now, the max time is the, uh, the length that uh, you allow the speed test to run. I left this at uh, 5,000. And then the server ID is the server you want to perform your speed test to. So if you come to the original speed test on speedtest.net and you hover over the location that you have chosen uh, in this program, you're gonna see in the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna see a, a URL pop-up. And that is the, if you take a look at the server ID, server underscore ID equals Mine uh, for Charter here, or Spectrum, is 2391. And you can change that to any anything that you want. So if I come back here to the Node-RED flow, you'll, you'll see that the server ID is 2391. So you want to change that to the server ID that you want to run your test to. And then that breaks uh, the speed test results into a bunch of uh, different... Uh, flows. So what we're going to do is we are going to run the speed test, and I put a debug node on here that's going to get the results of the speed test. So let's go ahead and run that speed test, and it's requesting now. And we're going to take a look at the output of that speed test. All right, it's done running, and here is the the output of the speed test. So you've got a uh, message payload that includes a timestamp and then a ping, which has got jitter and latency. It's got a download bandwidth, number of bytes, and how long it took, an upload bandwidth, number of bytes, and elapsed uh, time. And then it gives some information about um, your WAN, the server that it ran the test against, and some other things. So what this flow does is take some of these things like jitter, latency, and then the bandwidth, and it puts it into a nice uh, f a form, a dashboard form, that you can track your bandwidth. So let's take a look at some of 
the uh, the dashboard notes. So here is the last run. So this is going to take the timestamp and it's going to put it into uh, a date format that uh, we can easily read. This one is going to take the server location of the lo uh, the server that you ran the speed test off of. So this is going to be here in St. Louis in Olivet, Missouri. This node, this dashboard node, is going to take the uh, jitter. So in this case, it was 2.228. This dashboard node is going to display the latency, which was 10.407. And then these function right here, it calculates the bandwidth of the upload and the download and then places it into a gauge. So the... Uh, place that I took this from, it's got gigabit ethernet. So you'll need to change these values for something that is a little bit uh, uh, more sheer size for your bandwidth. So I'm gonna say the minimum for me on the download is, we're gonna say 200, and then we're gonna say the max is 600. So then the sectors, the red is going to be 200 to let's say 400, and then this is gonna be 500 to 600 for uh, the green. So you can put these different sectors and you can also click on these colors to change the color on what you want uh, it to display in the gauge, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing here for the bandwidth. So my minimum was 200 and my max was 600. We're going to do 2 to 400 and 500 to 600. Click Done. The chart node here is automatically going to graph those speeds uh, every two hours. And uh, they don't have any values. They will fluctuate up and down and size themselves appropriately. So after this is all done and you've got it configured, let's take a look at the output. So let's go to bandwidth monitor and you can see that my uh, download was 79 and my upload was 11 so let's go back and let's take a look at uh, the bandwidth here and let's uh, bring this down to I don't know 100 to 300 now we're going to change this to 200 100 to 200 um, let's go 400 here and we're going to go 200 to 300. And then the upload, we're going to say is uh, the minimum is 5 and the max is 50. So let's say the red is 5 to um, 25. And the uh, green is uh, 40 to 50. Let's go ahead and deploy that. And then let's run this thing again. And it's going Lightning to... Lightning alert. It's going to run. And it's done. And it wasn't even... Uh, so my bandwidth here is 81, and uh, the upload is 10. I think th the reason why is I've got this thing on a wireless uh, network. So... Uh, that's why the uh, the speeds are so low. But you can see that it uh, puts this in a gauge, the, the download and the upload, and then also graphs the download and the upload. Uh, it puts it in a group called Internet Speed Tests, and then also in a tab called Bandwidth Monitor. So this is going to run every two hours. So let's take a look at this flow after it's been running uh, for a while. So you can see that... Uh, I've got a group called Internet Speed Tests. It uh, last ran on 5.8.23 at uh, 105 Central Daylight Time. The server that we connected to was the one at Olivet, Missouri, which is in St. Louis. And this is at the remote station, so this is in southern Missouri. Jitter was uh, 0.4. Latency was 36. You can see the download was 915 megabits. 
and the upload was 892 megabits. And then you can see the history of the download here, and it's relatively consistent. And then the upload throughout uh, the last, um, looks like, uh, oh, it has no time here. How about that? We'll have to fix that. But anyway, this is what uh, the time looks like, or the graphs look like, uh, after you've um, been graphing them for a while. And uh, yeah, that is how this flow runs. Um, also, we've got, uh, I've got a hook in here to say if message payload is less than 500, which you can, um, that is in megabits, after it gets calculated, you can uh, send that to somewhere if, if you want to uh, send it to another, uh, another flow. So this is how you can monitor your bandwidth on your internet WAN router to make sure that you're getting the speeds from your ISP that you are paying for. So if you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below, and uh, we will see you on the next Node-RED how-to.